powered by Virginia. Radio. New City Jail need to be condemned like Rikers Island. Them two filthy motherfuckers together. Together. How did Mm-mm. you cope with that? Your first time, you had never been in jail before, and they throw you a new It ain't like, I don't know if you've been in there lately. Unfortunately, Ruff. I took a tour to scare straight kids. I'm lying, I was the kid, and I got scared straight because I was fucking up a little bit. So I seen a new bullpen. It's nice now. Phone is accessible. You can touch the cops and shit. Oh, gee. It wasn't like that back in the day. Uh-uh. You know, you get in there, you in there. They give you the bag, somebody else might take it from you. Well, you no, know? yeah, my, my question, yeah, I just heard one of your records. Yeah, hit him. And, and I, man, I had I never heard one of your records. That was dope. And, uh, like, when you were in there, did, did you hone your skills while you was in there? Like, that's a long time to be in there. So I know, like, you went through generations of music in there, 16 years. Like, how many different generations of music? Yeah, that's like, shit. Uh, at least four. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So it's like you, you I know you were coming in and seeing the How old were you? Yeah. Shit. Throw uh, the microphone. Don't, don't let the microphone yeah, get right when there. I, when I got locked up, I was 22 years old. I came home, I was 38. Damn it. So you ain't really getting no real pussy. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, not trying this to scare people. Yeah, all the way, Cassie. Yeah, I'm just saying, Jesus. <laughs> all the way, You know what I mean. Yeah. 22, I mean, come on. Well, like, no, no, because I was 20. That's not, a, that's not a fair statement. You probably was humping like. I mean, I, I yeah. had I had a, a, a wild childhood part. Okay, that's what I wanted to make sure. You wasn't one of these young dudes that just threw your life away and you was out here finger popping. Shout out to Noriega. You know what I'm saying? You was out just finger popping. You wasn't doing nothing. You was humping. Okay, cool. I finally so, I made my mistakes, man. Yeah. And I had to pay for them. Because that's one thing I want y'all to remember. If I ain't never told you nothing, grace is for us all. But it don't it don't negate. The consequence of your actions. You 100. Now 100. I'm going to stop all of shenanigans and keep you the band with you. And y'all notice, you see me talking to him regular. he's not mad because I'm cursing. This is already understood. I'm boss. Man, that's everywhere. You can't hey, go nowhere without him. You see that? <laughs> and this is a real Christian, not the hypocritical Christian. So I like that shit. I can say that. Anyway. Don't cancel me, please, God. I just I didn't say Beyonce. Shit, I said it. I'm gonna cancel your ass. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, we said Beyonce. This shit go bad here. I promise you. Every I'm time gonna we cancel your ass. So let me ask you up. this. Like he asked you, I want to go back to his questions. He asked you when you was in there, mm-hmm. when you wrote to expound on his history. Because he said you he know you wrote, so you came from many levels. But what was your defining moment to say I'm leaving the street life alone and I want to start writing for Christ? Because we all about peace. Right. Well, actually, I I missed a couple of years, at least about five or six years in rap, cause I had gave up. Once I once I um got locked up, but the story was um I was um getting looked at by uh DMX and his bloodline records when I was word, younger. Word, word. Salute to that. Salute. And once I gave them the MP the E P of uh, my music, I was locked up within like ten days after that. Damn. So, damn. When, then uh, once I seen them in the booth on, on BET, it kind of broke my heart. So I had stopped rapping. I had stopped rapping at all, man. And um, I just gave up on so it. So that was real personal yeah, with you, man. Right. Rest in so, peace, DMX. I, I definitely Do anybody that. know about that? Like, the, the, I'm like, like, yeah, my family and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 when you was in there, like, did, did you even say anything? Like, man, I could have been on here with these niggas. Did you ever mention it? Like, no, nah, because ain't nobody going to believe you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the, <laughs> you know, another jail never story. No, yeah. You know, prison's like the army. Be all <laughs> you, you got, be. But you got dudes <laughs> yeah. in there that got real stories and had real opportunities and it got blown because of penitentiary. Yo, there's a nigga in prison. You been in down now. I, I got to do this right quick. Mm. I want to do this for this brother because I, I feel like this brother is in the box and he probably ain't going to never get no shine. Saddam. Oh, man. That motherfucker. Yo, I heard about him. Yo, he, yo, yo he's, he's a, the legend in the penitentiary in the, yo, Jay-Z. Even, don't even know him. He nice. Yes. Saddam. Was he at the you know, same Lawrenceville? Bride? He nice. St. Brad, Lawrenceville. The, the yeah. nigga, I been, I been with him. Yeah, I came I in the system that. at 22. Yeah, he right. took me I under his wing. That. Yo, the nigga's phenomenal. I remember Excuse him. Me, I got excited. Yeah, you, almost, line, you almost broke the table. You almost canceled yo, the table, nigga. Listen, it's it's people. You hear this, brother. You heard that song? I'm going to keep it the band, right? That, that song shit was hard, I, Yeah, it's hard, but that shit is light compared to what he got. It's light, okay. Yeah. I'm serious. That was no, some I, I can believe shit. That. I think he did to see that. if I could do it. Keep I can believe that. I can go for that. But, no, I'm serious. The, no. song, we got, the song he got, the nah. shit, he got a joint called, let's say he got shit called You know called I'm a critic, nigga. You know me, bro. Yo, the joint called Breathing on him, bro. The joint goes so hard. That's but I, I wanted to say that because of this, right? Yeah. 
the way he raps and go so hard for Christ is the same way I may rap for the secular music or the young, you know what I'm saying? Where, where did that, like, when you knew you wanted to change, right, did someone come to you? Yeah. Like, like you got to, I got to hear that one down rundown, one talk. Yeah. See, what had happened was, shout out to my brother, Willie X. Brown. What's Big up, shout out to Willie X. Willie X. Brown. Willie X. Brown is uh, one of our leaders in our um, nation, uh, nation of Islam. And um, I used to, I used to uh, rap and when I had started back up, but I wasn't like serious in it. They had like a talent show and he kept asking me cause, it, cause it, he heard a little stuff that I rapped and stuff like that. So he wanted me to rap for the talent show. And out of all the contestants in there, I made number, I was second place. Okay. So he came and asked me to rap for his Muslim um, program called the Savior Day. Word, Savior and Day, yeah. So, and I asked him, like, what you want me to talk about? He was like, well, you can talk about Jesus. And that's when I wrote my first song. And I had everybody, all the Muslims, because me being ignorant, I didn't know that they believe in Christ, too. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So Absolutely. I had them, everybody in there singing, I'm a believer. I'm a worker for Jesus. And from that, I had so much publicity on the on the. How'd that joint go? Give me a piece of it right now. Let, 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 let me hear it. I know how it go. They don't I'm know how it go. Never been the deceiver. Put my trust in the Lord, cause he won't lie to you either. Got a purpose like Peter. Spit that fire like ether. Let these words touch your soul, penetrate through these speakers. Come on. Holy Spirit, get heat up. Watch the devil get beat up. Now I roll with the king and I ain't talking about Caesar. Plus I carry them features. I'm equipped for the drama. I'm a worker for Jesus. Introduced by my mama. Point blank, period, comma. Keep my eye out for karma. Cause the world is so cold. Sometimes it's hot as a sauna. But I promise that I'ma let him work out his purpose. Let him use me for what's good. Just to touch on the surface I put my life in these verses No longer under them curses Now I scream out his praises And let it bang through the churches Raise the dead from them hearses Even though I ain't perfect Keep his word on my person I know the devil be lurking And his conviction be hurting But it keeps me dependent On this love and this mercy Cause his grace is sufficient Let me have your attention Faith to come if you listen Resurrected from prison I'm coming hot out the kitchen Cause I'm a, I'm a believer I'm a worker for Jesus Come on <laughs> That yeah. cash start, you see? Now, that is hard. Yeah, that is hard. Yeah, so, once, so once, once that was done. In the, I can see why they followed you, too. The energy on that is crazy. <laughs> my definitely. head was just so big, man, and I just wanted to keep making people proud and smile at me, man. You know, just trying to right my wrongs some way, man. I, I respect that. And from there, man, I dig into that word, so I have more commentary, more stuff to talk about, more stuff to write about. And it just attracted me, man. To that's why I wanted to be. I didn't want to do nothing of the world no more. I just wanted, I just wanted to be around him because I felt good about it. You know, my life was changing. And you know, when you're in prison, you're working for twenty-seven cent. You know, I ain't had no, not throwing no shots to nobody. My mom, my dad, brothers, sisters, when nobody there for me, man. You know what I'm saying? Boom. And so it was just, it was just hard to cope with that. You know, your heart broken, man, and you just want to give up and just like, uh. uh but yeah. for some way. With that, that gave me that peace, man, to endure, to not even get through that by myself, but also come home and not have grudges against nobody, you know what I'm saying, for picking and choosing how they wanted to treat me while I was in prison, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So, True indeed, bro. I, I, I love it, bro. I, have, has there ever been a moment where you felt like, like, because I know being in prison comes with a lot of trials and tribulations. Every day. It's not something you could just walk through and just be like, it's great. No way, Jose. So, like, going through that, even carrying the Lord how you carry him, or like I even carry him to this day, like you carry him, have you, in them in them hallways, I'm only asking for them, for them hallways, mm -hmm. did you ever feel like you was doing it and he wasn't with you and you was like, man, I'm going to stop. Like, I don't feel like, like, you know what I mean? Oh, never. You always felt covered. You always felt safe. Like he always had your back. You never felt like, Lord, why have thee forsaken me? Never. Because what the thing is about prison, um, whatever you do, people go honor it if you're serious about it. One hundred. If, if, if you if you if you a knuckle upper, everybody yeah. know you're knuckle upper. They, they gonna, take they gonna you respect serious. it. One hundred. If, if you into Islam and you doing your prayers and you trying to teach people, people and, and you that Ramadan way. and all that stuff. They, That's they, right. So, but that same aspect. You know, if, if you walk in this righteous life, you know what I'm saying, but you're conflicted and doing stuff that's of the world for them to see them, they ain't going to take you serious. So right. then, you know, it'll be a lot of times where they'll take everything that you do offensive instead of 
you know what I'm saying, as you being an honorable man, that it may have been an accident or so. But I surrounded myself around people who were like-minded, who did the same thing. So I wasn't at the poker table no more. I wasn't smoking weed or trying to get with the girls or trying to sneak in drugs or anything like that. You know, I was mm-hmm. more conscious on trying to elevate myself so I could be more of a leader. Because I, I, I always believed I've always been a leader. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 100, 100. And I just wanted people to follow me, man. And show, so, you know, just like I said, just trying to right my wrong some way, man. And, you know, and it paid off, man, because the more I stuck around people who, who did good and righteous things, that's what I did. And it became an everyday thing. You know, I, I had no desire to want to do that. And the, the individuals in there, they took me serious. So from that point on, I ain't had to worry about nobody going to my cell, you know, provoking me to do something outside my character or nothing like that. It was just all love, man. And, wow. and even to this day, you know, my white BC be so shocked that I know so many people and they got so many good things to say about 100, me, man. 100. You know, and they start from in there, man. That's where it comes from. So let me ask you this. You draw. I draw too. <laughs> you make stuff too. Like, I make cards. Yeah, you I make cards. You sing. Every time oh, he very time. sings. He very sings. Listen to stupid ass. He sings. He very sings. Yeah, he sings. So, um, did you develop though? I never got to ask you this. Shit. Have you developed though? Did you develop the artistry? Like you know, you was he was painting murals in the prison. We was oh, at St. Brad's, and his artistry was that well respected that somebody who ever painted this stuff before he painted it, he painted over it. <laughs> Not in a bad way. Big shout out to whoever the other artist was, but that's a big achievement because you got to figure, I was at St. Brad's, I was IRG and everything for a minute before you got there, and I seen it, and it was like that for a minute, and then when you got there, he came through. And he had a white yeah. suit on and shit, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm doing the painting." And I'm like, "He was doing some bullshit painting at first. I think they just put him on it, just put you out there just to paint." He was painting some blue shit by the phones, matter of fact. Yeah, I know that. It, yeah, he was yeah. painting by the phones, and I was like, somebody was like, "Yo, he make the cards. He be making the cards." I'm like, "Oh shit, my daughter's birthday coming. I need a card." Nigga came to my bunk. The ne- he was next door because I was in 40B and you was in 40A at the time. And he came next door and you opened the card and all kind of shit popped out the motherfucker and some crazy shit. <laughs> shit. Talented, real talk, talented. Past that, um, no trials and tribulations, that's, that's, that's beautiful. I, I didn't experience that. I've been in the whole 15 days. They said I started a riot. I was a real fuck up. But anyway. For the record, for the record <laughs> I was at St. Brad's for like a month and I got caught with cigarettes. After, you, and they put you off? They said, man, this is 2013. Oh, 2013, shit. You should have been, been, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah you, I, you, I was 14. there. Yeah, I was up there for like a month. And I was in the, uh, the, 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 yeah, I got the re-entry program. Yeah. And I got caught up with those cigarettes. St. Bride is- Just cigarettes. Room. So now let's, let's, let's get to this, right, because I want to know this. Music wise, because I know that's what you do. That's your drive. That's your drive. Your motivation. That's where you pushing it. That's what I want to talk about. Which beyond beyond the message, we know you pushing for the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Big salute to that, right? Mm-hmm. Any other messages in there that you got in there that you want to that you think? Because even though I know you push for the Lord, see, you have a story that's so compelling because you mimic what's going on today because you've lived it. You know what I'm saying? You've been through it, unfortunately, whether it was a choice you made or just running with the wrong dudes, whatever it was, you lived the life before this life. So to me, a story with that kind of dynamic is so unique because you, you're you able to stand on both sides and not be on the fence. Mm-hmm. It is no offense for you. You can see a young person doing something, you can say, hey man, you don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? Or you can see a young nigga doing that nigga, I can show you how to hold that joint like this, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? So like what do you what do you see yourself when you hear things of gun violence, especially in hip hop, and as a Christian artist, even though you're not in direct line of what I may do, you're still in hip hop. Like how do you feel about the state of They need more dudes look messages like here. Like real shit. I, like, I agree with that. The music that. is like consumed with the devil. I agree with that. Absolutely, yo. The whole man, this drill music. I, you know, I, I want to just not say nothing negative about it. So I don't want to look like I'm the hating motherfucker on drill shit. But y'all don't talk about nothing positive at all. I won't say. Let's that. keep real, but like, like the music is really influencing these kids. Yeah. And that shit, yo. We need like a hundred more right. guys like him rapping. But the it don't gotta be 
trying to you know you're trying to preach the message to you're trying to get you to convert but just a better message than just what we already been going through bro it's like yo bro how I many you can't kill everybody bro <laughs> I, I tried to i tried to put peter butter but you're right they, they talk about killing right i just want y'all fellas to understand that the, the industry is the industry and it's about money you know what i'm saying that's what they want and that's why yeah. even today a person would take a record deal over you know putting forth their effort to get it on on Instagram or the platforms or the distributions and stuff like that because they want an advance and some money so they can, you know, have the gold and the jewelry and things of that nature. Mm. See, I was blessed, man. I was blessed beyond measure, you know, um, for me and my wife, like I said, we make, we have a business. Um, I mean, Let's talk about that business. Yeah, the business what yeah. do y'all do? <laughs> they will be on the show as a team, but you can give us a crash course right quick. Mental health. You know, I'm retarded. I'm a mental health patient. Yeah. Well, I got a real patient I take care of every day. Her name is Misha. I take care of her. I make sure she all right. You know, she, she, she all right. Well, our right. company is called All Support Options, um, LLC. All Support Options, LLC. And what we do is we go into the homes of individuals who have either high or low intellectual abilities and try to assist and help them to get be able to cope normally. Um, right. You know, as, as um, these individuals grow up um, from childhood, whether they're being attended to by their parents, their brothers, their sisters, their uncles, or whatever, they don't, you know, put forth the effort to do those things. Not, not. I'm not saying nobody does it, but a lot of them don't. So they just let the people act out the way they act out until, you know, and they find a way to, to work around it. What we do is we try to get them to be able to cope with you functionally so that, you know, when you tell them to pick up something, they, it's not a, you know, uh, act yeah. out about it. You know what I'm saying? They understand this is something that I do now. You know what I'm saying? And, 100. You know, you try to acclimate them to the Mental limit. health in our community needs to be addressed. It, uh, it, it needs to be addressed a whole lot more bigger and better than what it is right now. I here. agree. And not just by medication. No. That, to be honest, to, from what I see, and not to go back to the prison system, but you can attest to this as well. That is what 80% of the prison system is. Right, man. It's medication. It's, 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 it's medication. It's medication. Pretty much. And you're a bunch of like, damn real zombies walking around there. And it, it is, it's not to be, it's. Not it's, to be little, because I, I it's know. It's not to, we but know, it's a fact. But we know, we you, were there. You see, you, you see, <laughs> that's Beagle, I love that shit. You, you, you see something in someone, like you and your wife was able to recognize that there are certain things in people that they might need help along the way in life with. And salute to what y'all doing. That's a beautiful thing that y'all doing in the community. Right, right. And I salute to that again, and I, I definitely keep, definitely fly the flag for that. I don't know what the fuck that is. It was on the table. Amen, But, amen. you know what I'm saying? So I just feel like that's that's a, a flag, and for y'all to have that desire to want to do that, that's a compassionate component to being human. It's just another you know way I mean? of me paying back some of my wrongs by doing something right, man, trying to be interested in something other than myself. Right. And, you know, just to go back to the question about the hip hop nation and things, like I said, it's more about money than it is about anything. See, I have money. You know what I'm saying? Thank God. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to rap. You know what I'm saying? Well, but yeah. at the end of the day, this is this is what I want to do to encourage the world so I can do my part in uh, my journey in Christ. You know, because there's no there's no end date to this until I well, until yeah. I'm dead. You know what I'm saying? But well, yeah. at the end of the day, I'm not doing it for the money. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing it for a whole total reason. Now. A lot of people do it for the money to take care of their family so they can live extravagant lives. That, that that comes with the rapping. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So they go give the people what they want to hear as far as the negative stuff because negative sales. You know what I'm mm. saying? How you feel about Kanye West? Brilliant. I fucking Genius. love Kanye. <laughs> hey, look. Big shout out to Kanye you, get, did, you actually get it, don't you? He's a genius. You have, yo, you have to look past the narratives and all the words and look at the actions, Listen. Man. The nigga did one thing, and I stand on this. My queen and I was in the car. We was on our way to work. The nigga said this. The people create something, mm -hmm. right? They give it to you. Excuse me. They give it to you, and then they tell you how to handle it. Mm -hmm. And he did it with a mm -hmm. puppeteer voice. Right. I lie back. But it made sense. Because that's what goes on. Exactly what goes on, man. America controls, they trying to control how a woman controls her body. How the fuck can you stop a woman from what the hell her body got going on? She out here doing what she doing, living her free. Like, this is America, land of the free. Now you want to tell this lady that she got to have an abortion? 
But I honestly believe that you he... You can't control that. No, but I just honestly believe that he believes in his faith. I believe I believe that for yeah, I, I, believe, I don't think like some people throw that like he's just throwing that out there. No, to, he believes and it, I, I think he really believes it. Yeah. I think he really I mean, believes what, it. What worse is he doing? Speaking his opinion. Like like the thing, How's the that thing become a listen, the thing about this, I tell my kids all the time. Shout out to all my five kids. Well, actually I got more than that. Oh you know what I'm saying? But I got five. You know what I'm saying? Hey y'all, two. hey y'all, how y'all doing? Go hey, on. how y'all doing? Listen, check this out. The thing about it with with, with Kanye is Kanye got money. Yes, one hundred. So Kanye can say what he want to say, and all it, all it is is somebody's opinion. I get on my kids about this all the time. Why, like um um um, Ti said this good quote. He says, "Why give the person with the least knowledge of you the most attention?" Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, it, it don't even matter what they think at all. You know what I'm saying? I, would, yeah, I gotta but stop. Especially, especially, but that's an Ill. especially, it is an Ill especially if they come from him. It's an ill statement. Especially if they're, if they're not helping oh, you. If they're not helping you in no way, shape, form, or fashion, <laughs> why would you care what they think? You know okay. what I'm saying? It's not even if it's not true. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the thing is that Kanye is 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 very opinionated, man, and. Regardless of what, he always has a platform to say what he want to say. One hundred. <laughs> I don't care where they ban him from, whatever. That, that, that's my dog. He's the only Shout out Kanye, that, man. Love you, boy. Keep doing what you do. You a genius, canceled, man. You can't cancel Kanye. You can't even cancel this dude. Now, yo. I'm not going to smoke you. I want you to, because you said so. That's what you said, though, bro. No, no. I'll take it back now, nigga. No, no, no. Because it wasn't him I'm smoking, because he, he was speaking on some real stuff that he was saying on, you yeah. know, that he was speaking on. Yeah. So what I was saying was I'm going to smoke what he's saying, because he's speaking. Excuse me. I got a burp, and I'm not trying to burp in the microphone. So, you know, he's speaking on some real some real stuff, and I want to definitely smoke what he's saying. Mm -hmm. Right? Everyone, I don't care who you are, does something for someone else's gratification. To a degree, yeah, I can, I can say Everyone, that. you, you, me, her, him, everyone. You know why? Because everyone in their life at some point will or has said this. You're not gonna have me looking crazy out here. Ah, 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 ah. You cannot justify. Because let me tell you what, anything you, not, and I'm not attacking you, I'm just saying that we all do this, sincerely. Like even, even putting on airs, let's use that. Let's let's go with that. When somebody doesn't really have it, and they and they and they go out here and they do things like buy things beyond their means. You got a hundred dollars, and you gonna buy a hundred dollars chain. You you you. That's self gratification, instant gratification, correct? But that's just because. Because because they've been taught no we've been taught that that opinions matter for everything right, but it, it don't matter if the person now if he was if Kanye's was in the beginning of his of his um his his um, career and he started to do that and he was losing money by it, yeah but he can't I mean you take a bit he got so a it's it's not like you know what I mean then you just said it, the whole key point this is what you just said so if I have money. You can't stop my mouth because you just said if he was in the beginning of his career, he wouldn't be able to pull that same shit he's pulling now. No, he he has a line of respect but, too, and and a, and, a, and a, influence, and influence. Yo, he's like yeah. the biggest influential dude. One of them. That's why, because of his, and music, because of his influence. But at the end of the day, he so that's money, right? Capital. He, he's influencing people that want to listen to him. Right. But at the end of the day, they don't have to listen to him. No, nope. true saying? indeed. One hundred. That's me? that's one hundred. They, they, they choose to, to listen to. You know they, what I'm that's saying? right. He not at their door, knocking on their door. Saying, no, that's right. You, know you know looking saying? at me you saying know, this, you walk, go and then you on TV to a certain channel or a to watch you right. to find out what I said. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna get about it. Now you mad about it? See, see, see. That's one hundred. That's fair. We 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 meant to hold a certain standard. Mm -hmm. Right, and it's, sometimes it's a double standard, not including us Christian rappers. You know what I'm saying? But we are put on the pedestal too. Now we had to walk around perfect too. Cause, yes, y'all do. One yeah, y'all. Yeah, one mistake can mess up everything. Yeah. One curse word will fuck you up right now. Yeah. You want a song with spit bars? I don't know how the fuck you pull that off. Yeah. That but, might be looking at the question with that. What your manager say? How did we pull that off? Yeah. I don't yeah. know. But listen, <laughs> you have you have an individual that talk about shooting up clubs. You know what I'm saying? Pack it to pistols robbing somebody but yet in normal life that man or woman is supposed to be led to a certain standard you know what i'm saying that they can't cross but 
you listen to what they're rapping about. So how can you put him in a pot tell he's supposed to be a positive role model when that's what he's rapping about? Right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. his life. Right. But still, at the end of the day, they have to have, we all have a standard that we must keep every day, all day, because if you don't, you're going to lose some people, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that's where the keeping the band come from. Y'all want to know something? I'm going to let him tell y'all. What I used to say in prison when somebody asked me, what's up, boss? What I used to say all the time? Shoot! And what's the, other, what's, the, what's the word? What's the slogan I used to say? Yeet. And what's the other one? No, that was we used, we used to do the shit in this bar. <laughs> no, what's the slogan I used to say? When I said, hey, how you doing, boss? What I used to always say? Remember what you say? Because I fucked him up when I said it to him. I don't want to say it because I know you know it. Always positive. Fuck, I gotta say it because you, you're having a slow moment. He's having a slow moment. He's a stupid nigga. Man. <laughs> I can say that because I'm the friend and brother, and I can call him a stupid nigga. Because God know I don't mean it like that. Anyway, forgive me. Don't strike me. Strike him. <laughs> he all about peace. Let me move. <laughs> so, so nah, but that's 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 lit. And you know, I used to say that because I was like you, except for. Shout out to Maurice Wallace, man. That's my dude, man. I love him. His beautiful wife, Lisa, the kids over there, the whole family. That's my. T I love them. They're great people, man. Jay, all the whole team over there. Um, me and him was locked up together, and I used to read the Bible. You gotta understand, at the time I was reading the Bible, I was I was really a heathen though. Like I was really on stupid nigga time for real. <laughs> like for real, I was I was I was fucked up for real. I was me and the rest of my heathen. I could I could admit that though. You know what I'm saying? He said he was a heathen, but. <laughs> No, nah, because like I hear him, like you got, like I didn't have what he got. Whatever he got that got him to go that far, I didn't get that. I read the Bible three different times, and when I say read it, I mean read it. I was in the hole for fifteen days for starting a riot. I read the Bible for that. You got fifteen days in the hole for starting a riot. And I got beat up on top of that. I, I started a riot, got beat up at the. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just a step that we all we often miss. Yeah. A lot of us catch it, a lot of us don't. It's the fact that. In the Bible, it says that he learned discipline mm. or obedience to mm. the things in which he suffered. So the stuff, yeah, I agree with that the totally. Stuff that he suffered from, he learned from it to be better. You know what I'm saying? We take our you suffering shot at me and too. be mad you just and shot continue at me. to be even better to compensate the stuff that we so or get back what we lost. So you saying that I that I was rebellious against the Lord? <laughs> we all were. I read it we three times. Were. We all, all were, bro. <laughs> No wonder why I'm still cursing. Ain't this about a bitch? <laughs> well, that I didn't mean to curse that time. If you're doing it for a different reason, I put it in simple terms. The same way I do my lyrics, man. I get a scripture and I will break it down to where I could be able to explain it to you. But then I take it a little further and put it in a situation to where you can understand it. You right. know what I'm saying? Let me but I'm a... telling you a scripture, but you don't even know it because I'm just telling you real life how the scripture says. You know what I'm saying? Now let me give you the adverse flip to that. The way I look at it is like this. God gives us all a tool that we could use to build those in ourselves, right? You're born with them. You're born with them. The difference is, is the outcome of what you build. Like, you might be designed to construct a bridge. Mm -hmm. I might be designed to construct a building. He might be designed to construct a dam. Mm -hmm. You get what I mean? So, I believe that God understood that I have to get this message out in every way possible. I'm gonna have the people that's gonna stand on the box and have the book and do it right and say it like it's supposed to be said. But that's the easy ones to go get. I need them hard-headed ones, the ones that don't listen, the ones that's already wrapped up and influenced by what they influenced by. So what better way to talk to a knucklehead than make a knucklehead? See, the thing about a knucklehead is a true knucklehead can't elevate because he hasn't had the people to teach him that yet. But a person that has supreme understanding, they can actually go into a situation and get on his level and communicate with him. Right. Yeah. God uses us all, man. Every, Every last, last one, one of us. us. But I the thing that. is, how much you want out of it is how much you're going to get out of it. Now, that's you know? the band of it. So if you want to get to the point to where you know you you're running churches or you know just being a part of a church then yeah your life is going to change you're going to critique your life to the point to where you're not offensive while you're doing it That's right. but if you know that god's using you but i don't want to do all that i ain't comfortable doing that i want to stay in this lane right here yeah he's still gonna bless you but only in a certain extent you know what i'm saying 100. 
That's the. He's not gonna give you a house and a car knowing that you selling drugs and stuff like that. That's right. And that you gonna lose all of it. I'm I'm doing it for a reason. (laughs) (laughs) What's the reason? (laughs) He's not gonna give you something. He got to take back. I just gave you a hundred thousand dollars. The word (laughs) says gifts are irrevocable, man. He don't take back nothing. You know. Word. Salute to that. So at the end of the day, it's just about how much you want to put into your life, man, and how much of God that you want around your life, to where you will continue to do stuff that pleases Him enough to say, "Well, Lord, you see what I've been doing." If you want to move it to another step, you can move it to that next step. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm ready. You know what I mean? Or so mm. we think. But but once we get there, because of what we want, we go critique it a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? To tweak it to where you need to get it. To get. To and then when you, you feel it, though, you got to a certain point, you can move on. Like like me, I don't judge nobody, man, because I still have flaws. God's grace go still overlook my flaws and keep and continue to look at me righteous and in his sight. But at the end of the day, it does not take away the consequences of what I've been doing. You know what I'm saying? So if I drink a little bit, if I decide to smoke a little bit, and I get in some trouble, I can't run to God like God, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you knew what it was. But there were plenty of times when I used to do it, and I was getting away with it. You know what I'm saying? I was still making it home safely. I wasn't getting pulled over by the police or nothing like that. But then there may be a time to where that might strike me and mess up everything I got going. I'm going to share this with the world. I got a DWI. (laughs) Fuck it. (laughs) I've been holding it. A DWI. It is a DWI. He's a, he's, play me nigga. He's a drunk, drunk driver. No, so you, you said something, and I'm going to say this. This is for my queen. And I'm going to say this for her because what you said, it, it, it bothered me since you said it. So, Happy birthday, queen. Man, fuck her. Birthday. <laughs> birthday. <laughs> Damn, man. So, so um, I caught a DWI, but I caught it in the most stupidest way. But what you said still is the truth. Right. If you do something and the consequences, you already know what it is doing it, period. Period. So no matter what is the reasoning for the situation, the moment you do what is considered to be wrong, you have to be willing to assume what come with that. I call it DWI because I was celebrating. But it's all right, though. It, it, God it don't is. hate it you. Is. He, I think God he, put us all to be who we are, man. That we do. It's not us. But I'm going I'm to I'm break it down to you. Like I said earlier, he learned obedience to the things in which he suffered. Right? So now you got a DUI. Now all the stuff that you're suffering. DWI. Oh, DWI. Appreciate it. So all the things, the things that you're suffering, you don't want to go through it no more. Fuck no. So you learn. So your job is to learn from that so you never have to go through that again. So yeah. that means not drinking while you're driving. So you will never have to worry about Oh, I don't do that no more. Drinking and driving because, is dangerous. Because you learn from the yes. things and obedience from the things. Don't do that, that shit. From. Hold on, we do this on every show. This is your first time here. I'm pretty sure you saw it. But this is what we call a power by Virginia public service announcement. <laughs> you know we do this every week. It has to happen. This is a public service announcement presented by Power by Virginia Radio. We louder. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is not acceptable. <laughs> there you go. It is not. <laughs> word. I don't even know where I came It is not that. acceptable at any time to do anything. Absolutely that is not. Now, I would never endorse effective that to type your behavior well-being. anyway. Because you know, if you're gonna drink, sit your ass home or get a designated. Not job only or, do you put your life in danger, you put other people's lives in danger. Thank you. So, this is you know, why I respect cool. what he said, and right. I don't take light of my DWI. I'm on color code and everything, real shit. Color code. So, word, no sucker shit. So, like, you got to understand, like, what he's saying is right. If even if I felt like I wasn't fucked up enough, I could have killed somebody. You right. know what I'm saying? I could have swerved a little bit. Maybe somebody was trying to wipe a baby nose, and I could have scared them, and they could hit the curb. And regardless, my actions caused that. If that would have happened, so. If I got to do these five classes and sit on probation for 12 months, fine. I'm three months in. I call my, I didn't call my color code. Hold on. Let me show you how real it is. Watch this. This is what we do on This Might Get Us Cancer. Holy shit. He's about to call the color code. I'm supposed to call it at 7 o'clock. Live on fuck me. <laughs> shit. You keep it a band. Nigga. But yeah, I'm going to tell you something. Right. That's some red. Yeah, I went. I, I was like twenty one years. This on, is consequences. Like he said, this is consequence. Yeah, twenty one years on 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 either in penitentiary or, or supervised probation, and I got off, man. I you know, I cried, man. I, it, My it, color it, is pink or red, by the way. Probably pink. Fucking with you. It's both of them. There is no testing for states or colors. 
So understand, when you want your life to be yours, somebody's going to make you stop your fucking life to call a fucking number to see if a color comes up, to see if you got to go put your penis or vagina in a cup or toilet and pee in it and tell them what the fuck you've been doing. Right. You think about the things you do before you do them. Because if not, you'll be doing shit like that. To me, I'm 42 years old. The only people I answer to is my kids and my lady. That's it. Get some Jesus in your life. Get man. Jesus in your life. <laughs> Get some Jesus yes, in your life. That's real talk, man. Yes, sir. And that's from a mistake. And I promise you, it was an innocent mistake. But it doesn't matter how innocent it was. And my queen showed it to me. She understood what was happening, but she was still disappointed. Because why? Fucker, you know better. Right. You know better. We can't say we grown and make decisions, and then when we make decisions, we find every excuse to not make it us. I fucked up. I drunk. I came to my queen. I didn't make it. She had to come get me from jail 10 hours later. First Probably time not. it's a mistake. Second time it's an error. First time it's on you. You know why? Because you know yeah. better. Fuck. That's right. That's Ain't true. no more passes, bro. It's 2023. True indeed. True indeed. You know, there's a there's a scripture that says, um, God is not unjust to forget the labor of love that you've shown toward his name and still do. I'm going to tell y'all a, 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 a blessing. I did 16 years, three months in prison. When I came home, I didn't see a lick of probation. 100. I was Salute free. to that. <laughs> Salute. And I was just I was off probation. Free. Two years. <laughs> I never had to go see a PO. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 man. You can't tell me my God ain't good, yeah. man. So what you got? What's your, what's your lineup? What's, what was your New Year's resolution? It's 2023 now. Yeah. You know? You done burnt a few stages up. I seen you. You performed with me. He's coming out Saturday, too. I got him with me on Saturday. And I got a special guest with me on Saturday, too. So don't worry about it. But he's, he'll be out there Saturday with me on Saturday. Um, my, my New Year's resolution, man, is to get back to get back to my first love, man. Get back to, to square one, man. Doing the things that I was doing that was making me comfortable, making me get my peace. Um, you know, the journey out of prison, you know, once I got away from all the people that helped me stay consistent and you know, the people that I fell back on when I was going through things or, or needed some insight or, or you know, my team, I was separated from them. So uh -huh. now I'm back out into the world. I'm back with the people that's doing the same thing they've been doing before I got locked up, the smoking and the drinking and stuff like that, which I end up, um, you know, get back involved in all that other stuff, not doing my music and all that other stuff. So, you know, I had to I had to repent of some things, man. I had to get my rhyme, my mind back right, man, so that I could focus, so I can be that champion again, man. And and thank God, you know what I'm saying? I got my mind back right. Um, I'm ready to do it, man. Y'all look out for that music coming in 2023. My album called T G, I mean T H U G, Thug, True Hero Under God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's there's more meaning to that. I'm glad you brought that up because y'all don't you see how he look? You know if you the nigga got three nice cars. I, he's driving some shit today. I don't know what the fuck. I think like a Beetle. But what are you driving? Today? Some other shit. He got a bench truck. He pulled up in my crib yesterday. He pulled up in the bench truck yesterday. Shit sitting on twenty fours. Crazy. He got a BMW. I'm just showing you how when you change your life, he he's actually okay. He's he's very okay. But he has a song that uh, I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's it's called Breathing On Him. And he told you he got the music coming out 2023. Can we get in that? Can can you, can you, what was the inspiration, before we play it, what was the inspiration behind that shit, bro? It's just, it's just an encouragement to my brothers and sisters, man, who don't think that them opening their mouth, speaking their word is able to, you know, change people's lives. You know what I'm saying? When we talk, when we talk about God, we talk about Christ, man. We breathing on people, man. We we we're, we're breathing our Holy Spirit on the people's lives, introducing those who didn't know Him before, reintroducing those who forgot about it. You know, and I just had to make a song for my brothers, for my sisters, man, who go out there every day, man, to make sure somebody hear that word of God, man. We breathing on it, man. Well, go ahead and introduce it, man. We right here live, Power by Virginia Radio presents This Might Get Us Canceled Podcast. We louder. We outside. We got CK up here. What's about to happen? Tell them what's about to happen, bro. Put them on. Listen, man, we about to breathe on y'all one more Whoa. again. Let y'all know, man, the spirit is real. God is real. We will. And you got to perform, too. You gotta perform when it come on. And, and this is what we gonna do, man. So let's go. We, Let's we breathing it. on him. CK oh. breathing on him. Let's go. We outside. Out the 
frying pan into the skillet. Got a praise in my heart, can't nobody kill it. I've been screaming victory since I came in the building. Yelling grace to the top of the ceiling. Homie, get out your feelings. Gotta recognize Satan's a villain. And his only purpose is to come and keep you from living. Though I carry these fruits, bruh, I'm far from a limit. Can't tell me that my faith is a gimmick, cause I don't listen to critics. Stay juiced up just in case it pop off. Practice humility, but look, homie, I'm not soft. Spent these last 16 years behind bars. Found salvation, I'm trying to help you find yours. Down for the cause, already know what I'm repping for. Can't kill a soul, so what you carrying a weapon for? Ain't on my level, you still stuck on the second floor. Telling the word about Jesus all the way to Ecuador. He the first option to the situation, hands down. Ain't our battle, tell little homie to stand down. Love should be your only motivation to stand out. Learn how to give instead of walking with your hands out. Plot to claim Christ, matter of fact, I be leaning on them. Know all about them, cause every day I be reading on them. Gotta spread the truth, cut the devil, he be scheming on them. In order to spread the gospel, I be breathing on them. One, one, two, two, three, breathing on them. One, one, two, two, three, breathing on them. One, one, two, two, three, breathing on them. Every time I'm spitting, that Holy Spirit be breathing on them. One, one, two, two, three, breathing on them. One, one, two, two, three, breathing on them. One, one, two, two, three, breathing on them. Every time I'm spitting, that Holy Spirit be breathing on them. Healing is in me. How can I ever be a lame? I know that he's with me, so every day I see the change. Fought back them tears, found shelter in his name. No batteries included, we're suited to play the game. With a handful of spades, we might be headed to Boston. Ain't part of this world, this call be Marvin the Martian. Fire for the Lord, but I ain't playing in the arson. Past don't matter, cause his grace made me a part. And great made you a target, but I ain't got no bullseye. Gotta kill the flesh, but not promoting no suicide. We can beat the devil, but first we gotta be unified. Tell them about Jesus until the music. Die. Even though they criticize, still don't let hate consume us. Saved by grace, you ain't gotta listen to rumors. World is tempting, but it really don't amuse us. How you been fighting if you ain't even got no bruises? The world is confusing if the spirit ain't using. You don't fulfill the only purpose of his choosing. Bumps in these roads, better watch how you moving. Ain't his will for you to be walking around losing. I ain't assuming, I just tell it how it T.I. Is on the top of the game, handle my B.I. A soldier for the Lord, matter of fact, call me G.I. Cause I be breathing that Holy Spirit until I die. One, one, two, two, three, breathing on them. One, one, two, two, three, breathing on them. One, one, two, two, three, breathing on them. Every time I'm spitting that Holy Spirit be breathing on them. One, one, two, two, three, breathing on them. One, one, two, two, three, breathing on them. One, one, two, two, three, breathing on them. Every time I'm spitting that Holy Spirit be breathing on them. Why be so ignorant? We surrounded by teachers, covered in the blood, but still crowded by leeches. How you in the game, but still stuck on the bleachers? Denying the Father when you carry all of his features. Don't let him cheat you. We got a right to have a full plate. Mercy is forever. We all come with a clean slate. Why you on hot dogs when we can have a whole steak? We ain't in a city. We dominating the whole state. All of this is mine. Look, bro, I'm eating the whole cake. Got a new heaven. Why you still climbing the old gate? Struck a tradition, still trying to find him the old way. Walk around tired, still carrying the whole weight. Breathe, homie. Man, now that yeah, right no, there, I'm fucking with that all the way. You know, you no, make yo, me that want was to crazy. go rid of all my cursing and don't see motherfucker bitch no more. I'm about to, <laughs> that's gonna be hard, but yo, yo, I, yo it made me feel good. Though. I mean, good in it. I felt that so clean, like I you got clean. energy in the, in the music. Now I'm gonna go to God, smoke a blood, yo, and kill that nigga around the corner. Yo, we need to, yo, 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 we need that's it hard. Yo, we need more older brothers like us to, yo, yo, it's our responsibility to pour something more. Yo, you can always have that little negative edge, but because we live through negative things. You can't have And it can be brought up, but it has to be responsibly brought up, bro. It's got to be, you got to be responsible what we're saying, bro. That's right. 100. We have to be, bro. And that was that right there, is, that right there. Put. Cause it was dope too. You like yeah. it? It was. It wasn't watered down. It was, nah. The lyrics was. You know what I'm saying? And the it was on point. And it was right at you. Yeah, he spit. He spit. You just rap. I'm a cute man. I wrote that joint. You know what I'm saying? You know what yeah, saying? I was I the co-writer on the joint. You know what I'm saying? He we just like it was pretty good. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? But I wrote a little piece at the end of the joint. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the zup part. The zup word. Yeah, the zup. Good. No, that was actually actually dope, man. Actually dope. Real shit, my guy. You definitely. 
question. What do you see yourself as 2023? We just jumping off. It's January. What you got jumping? Where you at, matter of fact? Where you tell them what, 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 what you got any live performances coming up? I got it's I first got, quarter, man. What's I up? I got two live performances. First is on the 21st. I'm going to be at the Rough House Boxing. Oh, oh shit, Spitz Ball. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I got Spitz Ball. <laughs> He coming? He I got me. my nigga T Miles in the team. building, man. He's here. Yo, that's my pot, one of my partners right now. Oh, we outside. We yeah, we are here. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. That's my dude here. He walked in, you know. Let's go. Big chef, big chef. I like how he come in the building. He comes respectfully. I like that. Yeah, yeah. You better knew he was here. That's yes, right. I have another show in Richmond on the 25th. I'll be performing for Jasmine B. Jazz B, what up, girl? B, you know what I'm saying? 100. How you, Bo? Listen. You can find out all information, go on my YouTube page, which is Christ Created, Created with a K, C-H-R-I-S-T-K-R-E-A-T-E-D, 9062, no spaces, all Christ Created 9062. You can follow me on Instagram at M-A-C-K dot S-E-G-U-R-A dot one. You know what I'm saying? It will have all the information, everything you need, man. I promise you, man, I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to take care of your ears. I'm going to take care of your kids. I'm going to make sure that everybody got something positive, something rocking, something jumping, something to celebrate, man, when you listen with me, man. Because all I'm trying to do, man, is change the world for somebody. If I could get one, two, three, well, that's all, that's all already. Good, but at Boom. the end of the day, I'm not doing it for no money. I'm doing it for the break, for the praise. So let me ask you a question. If I could talk to God right now, yeah, we gotta clap. We fucking up. Excuse me. Yeah, let's go. And let me say this one more time, man. I know y'all probably watching like, damn, Bar's been cursing and just doing and right. Man, fuck me you. too, man. Yeah, you been cursing too. You a piece of shit. But I'm saying, it's more you than me. But I want you. This is why, because this is a brother that comes from a faith, and he doesn't shun. He wants you to be you. So if you oh, see him, in, if you see him in public, you're gonna see him. You be yourself. I think God put us on this God earth to be ourselves. That's what He man. wants you to be. Why be the best, be the best you version of you. You are actually. What nigga say? No capping. No cap. Fuck out of here. I'm gonna come up here because he Christ created. So what? I'm Christ created too, nigga. I just say bitch and motherfucker along with my Christ creation. Oh my goodness. Y'all, y'all think he terrible now? He used to be way terrible. Way worse. But at the end of the day, some good that was on me rolled off on him. One hundred. To where he's. Calm down a whole lot, you know what I'm saying? Thank you very much, brother. But at the end of the day, man, we all are influencing somebody, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's so keep watch what working, you man. Know, man. And watch, you know what I'm saying? Be patient with people, man. You know what I'm saying? God was patient with me for many years. I'm still gonna make some mistakes, man. That's right. I got some more to make tonight. On the way home. I just want to start an argument. Fuck it. <laughs> Why you driving like this? Who you been riding with? <laughs> y'all make sure y'all subscribe to that channel when y'all go check yeah. it out, man. Subscribe to that channel. Tell the people about your business, where they can find your foundation at, the organization you and your wife got going on with the mental health thing. Let them know all about that information, man. Please. Websites, all of that, where they can find all of that. Please. We are um, all support options. LLC. Our, our um, address is 3300 Tire Neck Road. That's tired with T Y R E, neck roll, um, sweet D. Uh, we we uh, we are getting in the process of making sure that uh, we cover every basis of mental health. That's why we call it all support options. We want to make sure that if your individual, or your family member comes to us, man, we are able to assist them and take care of them no matter what the severe, have mild, moderate, whatever it is, man. We're able to, you know, help you out, man, and give you a break. You know what I'm saying? And show these individuals, man, that they can cope in life like all the rest of us. Well, absolutely. That's why on a on a lighter note, you've been here about an hour or some change. Do you think you can do anything for this nigga here? Is there anything you can prescribe or just anything? <laughs> I know you felt the vibe. Like I know you had to, this nigga's a little touch. I told everybody, though, I'm, I'm a mental health patient. No, 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 no seriousness, no, no seriousness. Listen, let me tell you something, bro. Yo, self diagnosed. It's good. So I wasn't self diagnosed. You know what I, mean? I, was, I wasn't self diagnosed. But yeah, I bet I had my issues. Like, seriously, like, like suicide. I did too. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, you, they would just put me on medicine, 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 medicine. But when I got a chance to to talk to somebody that was qualified, that come from my walk of life and been through, been through it, 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 it hit different. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Not to say, not to disqualify anybody, but yo, relating to people in mental health situations, man, it works out a whole lot better, dude, because yo, you can save somebody, man. And it don't always gotta be about Medicaid, Medica medication. It doesn't have to be about that. Somebody just need somebody to talk to. That's just our title, man. You know, it's. It, it, this this what this way of life has got me to when I was younger and I see someone who was mentally ill walking down the street or in a per person of sadness or whatever, you know it was funny. You know what I'm saying? But now I understand. You know. What I'm yo, but notwithstanding, I, yo medication does help, but it doesn't have to be to that degree for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yo, yo, it, it, it's different methods of dealing with that outside of medication. Right. And I feel like your people that come from your walk of life can like, you know, that come from where you come from can help you better with mental health because they were there. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, they just like you know. I I have to say that I agree with Ivan Munn. Sincerely, I got him twice. It's he two just, times. You just gotta understand who you are, man. Um, you know, in 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 the word it talks about the guy that was stuck in the cage. They used to tear his clothes and rip his skin and. You know, he's a, they kicked him out the city. He stayed in the cave and things of that nature. When Christ came, he got healed. And the first thing he wanted to do was follow Christ. But Christ said, no, don't follow me. Go back home. You know what I'm saying? But there's a reason why he told him that. It's because he's going to be able to get more influence than Christ was because they know this guy. They know he was crazy. They know he was cutting himself. They know that he was a danger. But now they see him with a changed mind and walking totally different. Who's gonna say he lying? You know what I'm saying? They know, you know what I'm saying? For you know, it's easier for me to touch my community to people that don't go to church than it would be for a pastor to go do it. You know what right. I'm saying? It's your and, hood. And that's, and that's that's stories for us all, man. We all have changed our lives and did a lot of things that are totally different and now in the positive way. Now we can be able to preach and talk to these people and they'll listen to us because they know us. They know we used to be messed up. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. it's so that's, that, that's my message in my music, man. That's the image that I want to portray to everybody. Don't look at me who I, who I used to be. Yeah, I used to tear my clothes and, and rip my skin and be in the cave. I was in there for 16 years. But look look at what Christ got to me. I'm different. Now I'm in my atmosphere. I'm able to show people the change in me and they believe it because they knew when I was a mess. I got to I gotta do this right quick because I fucking hate man. <laughs> I do. He's a fucking idiot. He doesn't know. You know when you say shit like suicide, we gotta say a phone number and shit. Come on, man. You're a journalist now. Pay attention. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, 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 I I never called it a suicide number. I I was going through a situation and you know I was incarcerated, and luckily I luckily I got around some people that cared. And, 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 and yo, like a lot of them don't care. They say we gonna it. throw you all this riddling, take it, boy, uh -huh. and lay down in the bed and don't do this. Uh -huh. But you had somebody. I had a, I had a, I had a, a, a qualified mental health personnel lady. I can't remember her name, but she actually sat down. She said, "I'm not gonna pump you full of medicine because that's what they want you to do. You're not crazy." Uh -huh. She said, "Yo, when you go through things, man, you know, you yo." Trauma that I went through in life kind of went, kind of was it, it was a delayed drama, mm -hmm. trauma. You know what I'm saying? That's so, how it goes. You know, and, and you know, luckily I had some people like uh, 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 that 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 comes from your walk of life and our walk of life and how we move and how we do. They cared, you know what I mean? They they didn't care about you know trying to subdue me under medication. Because that it, it, yo that'll do you in, brother. It will. I know it'll it do you in, bro. It'll, 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 you'll be you be relied on something that you you don't really. Nah, need. I'm supposed to take Thor's in and villain, bro. I understand this. I yeah, that's the worst type of stuff. I, I can show you some shit you and fuck your day up on some real shit. I made it through prison. Especially if I you want to have an active sexual <laughs> life, <laughs> you're gonna be out. Back. Wait a minute, six six. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> that's gonna idea. mess you up, man. Hey, I don't want to do oh. <laughs> um, You know what okay. I got to hear? What? Me. Oh my God! Um, we ain't getting that another day. I let you come interview me. We ain't play that motherfucker. Um, before we get out of here, man, please once again let the people know your handles where they can find you. We gotta go. It's time to get the fuck out. Yeah, sir, once again, time to go. Now it's time again, to say I'm goodbye. On YouTube at Christ Created C H R I S T K R E A T E D. Christ Created ninety sixty two nine zero six two. Yeah. All one word, no spaces. You type it in, you'll see my little icon. It got CK. It got me standing in front of there. Um, or you can check me out on my YouTube page, which is, um, I mean, on my um, Instagram page, which is M-A-C-K dot S-E-G-U-R-A dot one. That's a bad. Type it in. You Alrighty. can see me up there. 
Same logo and everything, man. It's wow. easy to find me, man. Easy to love me, man. I got something special for y'all. Y'all stay tuned. To love you, B. Y'all know it's me, Machine Moses. Contour, you're going to die Saturday. Boy. Yo, you. I'll see you later. We're going we to talk about that later. We'll if talk you... about it later. One love to home with Contour, but I, um, you want to chop and block. Boom. Stay tuned to Power by Virginia. We got something phenomenal coming up next. I promise you on my mama, you don't want to miss this shit. This shit going to get somebody punched in the face. Shit going to be lit. Listen, I am doing this for six cents. Hi, my name is Six Cents. I'm stupid. Be back tomorrow with uh, my stupid ass. UG Music. And UG Music is the shit. And I hate <laughs> single black women. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is going on? Yo, what the fuck Big shout out to Six Cents. This is my we love you, man. man. We love you, ham, man. we love your ham. I am the big face bully, man. As you already know how I do this every week, I promise you, listen, this is what we do always from a place of positivity. Big shout out to my beautiful queen over there, Misha. She over there playing on the phone and acting like she's doing something for Happy the show. Birthday, Happy birthday, Misha. Birthday to Rob. Happy birthday. It's her birthday. It's her birthday. This big shout out to everybody's birthday. And I think it's Capricorn season, right? Shout out to my oh. wife, Deborah. Oh, correct. Oh, that's what it is. Shout oh, out to okay. my Where? kids, Slade, Cordell, Bookie. Yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> Shout Isaiah. out. Is it Geek Life? All right. Rest in peace to GS Gunsmoke. Rest in peace, baby. A brother. Love you, boy. Love you to death, my guy. I, I, it was a pleasure to know you. Free King you. David. Yes, Free King Dave. Crazy fucked up shit, man. And stop killing kids, man. Always look up, never look down. Always look forward, never look back. It's the big face. I'm done talking. <laughs> Powered by Virginia Radio.